Hey guys, what's up? Chris and Michael here with createinsights.com. In this video, we want to focus on social media and more specifically, what content should you use in your social media marketing efforts? So, my man Michael, you're doing a lot of great things with social media, both for Gebs TV, for Create Insights, and some of the other stuff you have going on. So, just break down quickly what type of content do people need to use to make that social media marketing effort effective? Yeah. Well, since a lot of the guys here with Create are obviously video producers, what's kind of funny is how right now in the Facebook world, uh, especially, uh, the videos aren't necessarily as effective, but they can be. So that being said, is what I've noticed is, is although everyone wants to load to uh, Vimeo or YouTube or these other you know uh, platforms like that, these already social platforms, that the reality is I've noticed because I was getting really frustrated why we weren't getting as many views anymore like we used to on our videos when loaded to Facebook. Well, what you'll notice is there's a lot more people on mobile. And so on your mobile devices like your iPhones, your iPads, when you're scrolling through, you're just seeing all these images. So they'll get a lot of likes. Images are getting a lot of likes because you can like them and keep on moving on. Well, what happens with Vimeo and YouTube links on mobile devices you don't see thumbnails like you do on a desktop. So what's happened is these people are flipping through and they're not even noticing that there's a video to even watch. And on top of that, it takes you away from Vim or from Facebook to YouTube or Vimeo and it's just a little bit more of a process. And so what I've noticed is when you load to Facebook, that now a thumbnail shows up with a play button and it immediately plays. And when you click done, it goes right back to that spot on the wall. You can click like and keep moving through your feed. So that's the aspect for videos, but still what I found video wise is posting at night seems to be the most effective for videos. Because during the day when people are flipping through their phones again, they may be at work or they may be in a place where they can't watch a video. So another reason why what I'm alluding to here, photos and text are actually very effective, mainly even photos right now. And what we've been using is these motivational inspirational quotes. Um, I, I truly believe if you stand for things positive that it can work for any type of company and it's something very easy. There's a lot of uh, resources out there on Pinterest, even on Facebook, where people have already created these and you can kind of repurpose them and then you're able to spend very little time on that effort because for me now, you know, it used to be what do I post and you know, do I constantly have new fresh stuff directly related to my business every day to post because after I got down to it, now after doing it for a couple months, I've found that really posting daily for me is most effective. But posting daily also sounds overwhelming. Well, it is if you're constantly thinking of something fresh and new to constantly post. Well, for us, every day, two times a day roughly, we post the inspirational quotes or photos. Then throughout the week, we intermingle some new stuff every once in a while, or we have that new video. But what we'll do is, is we'll post it in the evening because now people are at their computers or they're still on their mobile devices but they're they're able to um, they're able to watch it they're not at work they they can sit and they can watch that video so posting the videos at night are effective and not necessarily on like Fridays and Saturdays and, and even Sunday mornings you know the Sunday evenings are good or in the evenings Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday because Friday nights people are going to the movies they may not be in front of their computers uh, but to kind of wrap that up Photos are really effective right now, um, and that's for Facebook. I've been focusing a lot on Facebook. I guess the other big one's Twitter, and I think the bottom line, guys, is don't, don't. Uh, it's better to put all your effort into one than just half-ass in a whole bunch of them. You know, if you if you're gonna just you know be over here on Pinterest and this and this and this and this, but you really you put a lot of effort into Facebook. It, it doesn't even matter to even mess with those at all because posting every once in a blue moon doesn't do a good uh, doesn't doesn't work. And so one other little thing you'll notice um, there's a guy Seth Godin that some of you may have heard of, and Seth actually only focuses on his blog, and he just aggregates the content every single day to Facebook, to Twitter, to these different platforms. He's still got 170,000 fans on Facebook, and he does zero interactivity he's just posting from his blog so you can have those other platforms but use something like Hootsuite um, to be able to uh, put it on all the different platforms all at once and put the same content that makes it easy another platform is Buffer uh, the Buffer app.com allows you to and I've used this one I've gone out of town you can say it's 7:40 a.m. and at 8 o'clock at night I want content to be posted 
You can post the content in there for a week. You can post, you know, eight things in there and it'll only release two a day. So there's another little thing where you're like, well, you know what, I don't want to have to mess with this morning and evening. You get in there in the morning and then you're good for the, you know, the rest of the day. So uh, I could go on and on. We can make multiple videos. We do have some different parts here. Um, if you have follow-ups, you can uh, check us out with createinsights.com and you can become an insider where we really dive deeper into some of these subjects. And, um, and you can also check out our, our little short, short clips for the rest of our little uh, Facebook social media uh, insights. So thank you, guys.